Men acquitted of bombing 1985 Air India plane shot dead in Canada. A man acquitted over the bombing of a 1985 Air India flight from Montreal to Mumbai has been killed in Canada in what police believe was a targeted shooting. The family of Ripudaman Singh Malik confirmed the 70-year-old was shot and killed Thursday morning in front of his clothing import business. Police were called to a Surrey, British Columbia neighborhood following reports of gunfire. They found a man with a gunshot wound. Constable Sabit Sangha said the man was provided first aid by attending officers until emergency health services took over his care. The injured man succumbed to his injuries on scene. Police didn't release the name of the victim, but family confirmed Malik's identity. In 1985, 329 people died when Air India Flight 182 exploded off the coast of Ireland. It was due to stop over at Heathrow before going on to Delhi and eventually Mumbai. The terror attack is the worst act of mass murder in Canadian history. Among the victims were 280 Canadians and 86 children. A second bomb targeting another plane killed two baggage handlers after it detonated at Tokyo's Narita airport before it was loaded on to an Air India plane. Crown protectors previously argued the bombing of Air India was masterminded by six extremists in British Columbia as retaliation for the India Army's raid of the Garden Temple in Amritsar. Sikkim's holiest shrine in 1984 that killed hundreds of Sikh pilgrims. In 2005, Malik and Ajab Singh Bakri were acquitted of mass murder and conspiracy charges in connection to the Air India bombing. A judge determined that two key witnesses used by the Crown were unreliable. Following his acquittal, Malik successfully sued the government for $9.2 million, alleging the Crown knew of deficiencies in its case, but nonetheless pursued charges under pressure from the public. Canadian authorities believe Canadian authorities believe Tang Winder Singh Pama was the architect of the attack. He was shot and killed by Indi- he was shot and killed by Indian police in 1992. In the years since, Malik, a previous supporter of the Sikh separatist Khalistan movement, has held leadership roles with the credit union and network of Khansa schools. This is BBS News. Thank you for listening and see you in the next video.